How you doing, sir? Hey, good man. How are you? So, uh, you know, Habermas, you know, he seems sort of suspicious of anything that doesn't fit within the norm of his life. Do you feel that way at all? Like, he's just suspicious of everything? Yeah, well, I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a military leader. He's a military leader. He's, he's, a, he's a general. Um, I think, like, everything, he's just always aware, you know? There's always things going on. Uh, he's paying attention to, to, to everything all the time. Um, I think that's just who his character was. Not just because there was new stuff going on. I mean, just in general, all the time, I think he was always aware of things. Do you personally, you know, agree with some of the decisions he made about how he dealt with the English? Or were you like, no, I, I see his point of view. I understand why he took so long to warm up. No, I have. Right. No, I, I can definitely agree with everything that he did. Um, you know, when you, when you meet a stranger, you're not you know, the, the warmest to them right away. Um, it took a while. And I could actually see, you know, they formed that bond with one another. And uh, with Miles Standish, uh, with the colony, with the settlers, and eventually moved in. I mean, you spend enough time around people, uh, you're nice to one another, you're, you're going to want to, you know, they become family, you spend more time together with each other. What do you think most about the guy having that play in your research? What do you think the most about playing? Yeah. What intrigued you most about him? I didn't ask him. What intrigued me? What intrigued him? Oh, what intrigued me most. Um, you know, what, what, I, what is really cool about this, uh, about these native characters, and a lot of movies you see, they're one-dimensional. They're one-sided, two-dimensional. Um, they're very flat. They're just giving their lines. They're supporting the small characters. But here, they're leading characters. They're three-dimensional. He's not just a warrior. Albemarle isn't just a warrior. You see, you know, he's a family man. He's a husband. He's a father. And you see all those sides. Uh, that's what I think was really interesting to me. And uh, having now lived in this 1600s world, you know, for those few weeks that you did, what's your takeaway of the people that lived at that time? It was, it was hardcore. It was harsh. I mean, now it's like, life, you know, oh man, it's like everything's so accessible. Then they built everything out of nothing. Uh, I mean, the settlers did. The native people were already well established. They lived on the land. Um, you know, it was, I think it was harder for the settlers during that time to adjust. But the native people were already there and, uh, and helping, helping them adjust, I guess.